I'm Gay Gaddis, CEO of T3, the Think Tank, and I'm very excited to be speaking at Social Media Week. Hi, I'm Angela Yang, the Director of Connections at T3, and I will also be speaking at Social Media Week at an influencer panel. Every time I introduce myself and I say I'm the Director of Connections, people usually ask, you know, what does that really mean? And I always say it's the connection of social and also media together as an integrated practice. And so that was one of the things that really interested me when I first came to T3 was that idea of an integrated discipline. But it hasn't always been like that. And I've always been curious, like, how did you all make that transition and that shift from... Um, being an agency that was really focused in on that media side into something that was so much more than that? Well, you know, we've always had a practice at T3 of looking at what's next. And so when something is new, we want to play with it. We want to get our hands around it and see how we can help our clients discover the new new. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, we were one of the first ones to do uh, the internet work many years ago in the 90s when everyone thought it was going to just die out and it was a fad. So uh, all along the way, with mobile mm -hmm. technology, with everything, we have tried to be out ahead of it and really find ways for it to be useful for our clients. Mm -hmm. You know, T3 is all about the useful brands. And uh, so we've been very, very excited about always grabbing out for what's new. Uh, for social media, it was almost like an evolution of what we were trying to do to connect mm -hmm. to the customer. Uh, because before, it was always brand telling the consumer what yeah. we wanted them to know, basically. And, uh, and we decided that early on, even back, way back in the Dell days and, and back with JCPenney, with Marriott, with some of the clients that we were working with, that there was a real opportunity mm -hmm. to kind of play in that area and see what was going to happen with social to connect. Uh, the biggest problem was, though, we no one knew how to monetize it. Yeah. And so uh, as we were putting together teams and experimenting, we could see the engagement, which was so exciting. Mm -hmm. So at least we knew that the consumer was engaged with the brand. Yes. So we could look at that as a metric. But to really be able to say, did we sell more computers? Did JCPenney sell more jeans? Did we do these things? It was tough to figure out at first. Yeah. So one of the first campaigns that we really were excited about was a campaign around holiday and Christmas for JCPenney. And we could see that the amount of time the consumer was engaged with the site, with the, the social aspects mm -hmm. of it, there were more sales. And we were just cheering, you yeah. know, because it was like, wow, we finally proved this up. I know that we've talked a lot about, too, as a team, about how brands you had said used to be more of this like straight wall of brand integrity right i need to have this one face i need to be one facet and i totally typically focus in on product but now it's humanizing that brand and making it more authentic yeah i love the words you're saying authentic because yes. um you know that's something we strive to be here at t3 it's a core value uh, and through social all of a sudden you're you're showing a part of the brand or you're showing something that you really could not do before and it's exciting to us to, to to look at see the creativity that comes around that and it's not just you know answering the questions you know i laugh back in the old days you know it would be people were terrified yeah you know corporate pr terrified you know if, if we were talking or we said anything to the consumer and they said something back oh my gosh what did we say i know and i remember so, that <laughs> oh yeah so it was like a, it, for in early days it was almost like a shutdown yeah you know, no you cannot talk to them we cannot answer them and a lot of this was really handled by corporate pr and the bigger companies that we were working with uh it was interesting to us to see how they began to start outsourcing some of that yes and letting go of the fear a bit to, to let us have that voice. Another very early on campaign that blew me away, I mean, I think we were all surprised, uh, was we were working with Marriott's uh, Renaissance brand, yeah. the hotel chain. And um, we decided to offer a free trip to Paris that we had negotiated with Condé Nast uh, because we were placing a lot of print. Yeah. So Condé Nast teed up a, a free trip to Paris but the objective was to get the users out there, the consumer, to post their favorite photographs of yep. their vacation. And we had no idea what kind of response we were going to get. This is years ago before yeah. people, we didn't know people wanted to share things. Before UGC was a thing. Yeah, right? <laughs> we, yeah, it was like, what's this? And, and so we, it was an experiment. Uh, 
Yeah. We were overwhelmed with the response. People were just sending them in like crazy. And, and actually to curate it, yeah. we ended up having to put all hands on deck to do it because you did have to make sure that it was appropriate, sure. you know, and there wasn't something obscene or whatever coming through. So we, uh, we had to curate all this stuff. But it was overwhelming how many people wanted to post mm -hmm. their things. And so we realized people want to share. Yes, People want to talk about things important to them mm -hmm. or that they care about or that they're excited about or beautiful or, or, or scary or whatever. Because you had talked about curation and you doing it by hand and having a whole team on deck. But the tools that we have today allows us to, to do that basically automatically, right? Mm -hmm. And so in addition to that, the uh -huh. mechanisms for measurement too. But yeah. Even despite that, what it really comes down to, the foundational aspect of it is building the brand love and advocacy and really embracing right. those customers and also yeah. the consumer groups. And that's where like, I think social and the connections team has really become a little bit more than just social. It's a piece yeah. of that media. It's mm -hmm. also a little bit of loyalty. It's about building the brand oh, yeah. in that way too and utilizing those channels and those platforms mm -hmm. as a way to do it. Well, I have a question for you. Yeah. Um, so people have asked me this, and, and I'd like to get your response. Uh, why would a big brand hire T3 or an agency to do this rather than just to bring it all in-house and doing it themselves so they can have their control center internally mm -hmm. with their voice? What, 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 why would they hire us? I think about it almost as if it's like a brand is like a person, right? Mm -hmm. You're a human being. And so you can talk about yourself all day, and you might understand who you are, but without that perspective from the outside of being able to say, you know how you feel on the inside, but from the external focus, this is how you appear. Right. This is how you want to be. So it's not only who you are now, mm -hmm. but aspirationally, who do you want to be as a brand? Yeah. How can we get you there? And I think that's why brands turn to agencies, because if you don't have that guidance, someone to push you forward mm -hmm. as if you were a friend or a, you know, a consultant yeah. to that person, you're not going to grow.